Bang! Every morning, Caillou watched for the big yellow school bus that drove down his street. He always saw lots of children waiting for it. Caillou's friend Sarah hopped onto the bus and took a seat. She saw Caillou sitting by the window. What's wrong, Caillou? I really, really, really want to go on the big yellow school bus. When can I go on the bus like all the other big kids? Not long. Only one more birthday and you'll be old enough. That's such a long time. I want to go on the bus now. Here's an idea. Why don't we go and talk to the bus driver tomorrow morning? If you ask nicely, the driver might let you ride the bus. Caillou was still a little sad, but at least he'd get to see the bus up close. The next morning, Caillou and Daddy were waiting for the school bus. Here it comes! The bus driver pulled up and opened the door. Good morning, young man. What's your name? Caillou stood behind Daddy. He was a bit shy. This is Caillou. He'll be going to school next year. Really? That means you'll be joining my bus. What is your name? Well, they call me Mr. Billy, the bus driver. I really, really, really want to go on the bus. I can't take you on the bus ride today because the bus is full. But you and your daddy can join me tomorrow. How does that sound? Yay! I can't wait! The next morning, Caillou was so excited about the bus ride, he couldn't stop thinking about it. I heard someone is going on a bus ride today. I'm so excited, Mommy! Bus! Beep! Beep! I want to make something special for Mr. Billy, the bus driver, to thank him. Maybe you should draw him something. Caillou thought that was a great idea. He picked up his colored pencils and a piece of paper. That's me driving the school bus. What a wonderful drawing, Caillou. When breakfast was done, Caillou and Daddy met Sarah at the bus stop. Are you going on the school bus, Caillou? Caillou nodded proudly. He felt like a big boy. The bus pulled up in front of them and Mr. Billy opened the door. Jump on, Caillou. We can't be late for our route. Caillou climbed onto the bus with his daddy. Caillou and daddy sat right behind Mr. Billy on the bus. Caillou felt like the bus driver, too. Caillou waved at each boy and girl that came onto the bus. Riding the big yellow school bus was lots of fun. Stop, start, stop, start. The bus picked up more and more children. Mr. Billy drove them all to the school. At the school, the children got off, all except Caillou. Mr. Billy, I drew you something. Wow, what a great drawing. Is that you driving the bus? Caillou nodded. He was very proud of his drawing. Wonderful. I'm going to put it up right here for everyone to see. Time to head home. Caillou didn't want his ride on the school bus to end. He was having so much fun. But when he saw Mommy and Rosie waiting for him, Caillou was glad to be home. Did you see me, Mommy? I sure did. Did you remember to thank Mr. Billy? Thank you, Mr. Billy. I had so much fun today. Me too, Caillou. Thanks for joining me today. I have something special to give you as well. Mr. Billy handed Caillou a little yellow school bus toy. Now you have your own little yellow bus that you can drive any day you want. Whoa! I love it! Thank you, Mr. Billy. Caillou waved to the bus as it pulled away. Thanks for the ride, Mr. Billy. See you soon. Caillou couldn't wait to be older so he could get on the school bus every day. Caillou and his family were enjoying a spaghetti dinner. Yum!
Yum! Spaghetti is my favorite! That's good, Caillou. Please try not to slurp when you eat. It was very hard to eat the spaghetti without slurping. While Caillou is trying not to slurp, he made a strange noise. Uh-oh. Sounds like you've got the hiccups. The hiccups? How do I stop them? Hiccups usually go away on their own. Caillou waited a moment to see if his hiccups disappeared. Hey, I waited, but they didn't go away. You have to wait longer than that. Why not play in the living room? Caillou built a tower of blocks while he waited for his hiccups to go away. But one was so big it made him knock over his tower. How's it going out here? These hiccups are messing up everything! I need them to go away! Sometimes hiccups can be cured by giving someone a scare. A scare? Just a little scare. It makes the person gasp and the hiccups go away. Do you want to give it a try? Caillou thought about this for a moment. He didn't like to be scared, but he didn't like having hiccups even more. If it'll make the hiccups go away, then okay. Yeah. Mommy spread her arms out and floated like a ghost and then jumped at Caillou. Boo! Ah! Hey, it worked! Yeah. Oh, it's not working. I don't think my hiccups are the kind that gets scared away. Yeah. Good thing I'm here then. I'm the world's number one all-time hiccup cure champion. Come on, I'll show you. Some people cure hiccups by drinking water really fast from a hose. It can get a little messy. I don't care. I will try anything. Daddy turns on the water. Caillou tried to drink from the hose, but most of it sprayed all around. It's not working! Don't worry, Caillou. I've got another cure up my sleeve. The upside-down solution always works. Daddy made Caillou do a handstand so he was upside down. Daddy held Caillou's feet for balance. Hiccups all gone? <laughs> There's one more thing we can try. Let's go back inside. Everyone gathered in the playroom to find out Daddy's final cure. I've saved the best for last. This is sure to get rid of your hiccups. What is it? You hop from your left foot and rub your head with your right hand, like this. Caillou thought Daddy looked silly hopping around, and so did Mommy and Rosie. <laughs> <laughs> Caillou really wanted to get rid of his hiccups, so he started hopping too. That's it, Caillou. Hop those hiccups away. I'm still hiccuping. What if I have them forever? <gasps> and ever and ever. Maybe I'll have to stop making spaghetti dinners. <gasps> but spaghetti's my favorite. And Rosie's. And Daddy's too. It wasn't the spaghetti that gave me the hiccups. I know it wasn't. And I think they're gone. Listen. Caillou was right. His hiccups had gone away. Perhaps I scared them away by saying I wouldn't make spaghetti anymore. No, I think they went away on their own, just like you said they would. But are you really going to stop making spaghetti? Of course not, Caillou. I was just teasing. <laughs> <laughs> Caillou and Daddy were playing with Caillou's favorite train set. Daddy? Yes, Caillou? Is it true some trains go underground? Yes, that's true. It's a special kind of train called a subway. Caillou was a little surprised. The 
subway must be really dark if it's underground. I'd love to ride the subway one day. That gave Daddy an idea. The next day, Daddy decided to take Caillou on a special expedition. Are we really going on a subway train? Yes, Caillou. We'll be two explorers. Caillou put on his special blue hat and backpack. I can't wait to be an explorer. What's in your backpack? Explorer stuff. Caillou and his daddy went into the subway station. A gust of wind blew daddy's hat off. <laughs> Oops! A good explorer should always hold on to his hat during a tornado. Hmm. Caillou wondered where all that wind was coming from. Daddy bought two tickets for the subway. Push hard, Caillou. Caillou pushed hard, and he got through. Well done, Caillou. You've passed the first obstacle on our expedition. Caillou and Daddy went to the escalator. We're going underground now. Are you ready? Caillou looked at the big hole leading underground. He really wasn't sure if he still wanted to be an explorer. I'm scared, Daddy. Don't worry, Caillou. There's nothing to be scared of. Down the escalator they went. Caillou held his daddy's hand very tightly. And here we are. But it's not dark at all. There were so many people, and there was even a man playing a guitar. Daddy looked at a huge map on the wall, full of colored lines. Then Caillou heard a noise, getting louder and louder and louder. What's that? You'll see. Lights appeared from the dark tunnel. It's the train! The subway train arrived with a big gust of wind, and the doors opened all by themselves. Hurry, Caillou. We have to get on before the doors close. Caillou was very impressed. Are they magic doors? Caillou looked around the busy train. We have to stand? Hold on tight, Caillou. The train took off and picked up speed. Caillou was holding the pole really tightly. He loved his ride on the subway. It's like a merry-go-round! Caillou watched as the lights whizzed by in the tunnel. We're almost there. Caillou was sad that the ride would be over soon. Caillou and Daddy walked around the park. They stopped on a park bench nearby to have a snack. It's much quieter here than on the subway. Caillou took two cookies from his backpack. One for you and one for me. You're an explorer that thinks of everything. I brought my flashlight and my teddy, too. The explorers went back to the subway station. Watch out for the tornado! Caillou went into the station holding his hat, pushed his way through the turnstile without getting stuck, and rode down the escalator into the ground without being scared at all. Once he was on the subway, Caillou, the great explorer, fell asleep on his daddy's lap. Today, Caillou and Grandpa were going to the park. Grandpa arrived at Caillou's house carrying a box. What's in the box, Grandpa? 
You'll see when we get to the park. Caillou was so curious to know what was in the box. On the bus ride to the park, Caillou played a guessing game with Grandpa in order to find out. Is it a soccer ball or a kite? I know, it's a helicopter! <laughs> no, no, no. Caillou loved to watch the boats on the pond. They're having a race! I wish we had a... Oh, wow! A sailboat! I made it myself. Do you like it? Oh, yes! Does it really sail? Soon they had the boat in the water. Caillou was very excited when Grandpa let him do the steering. That's right, Captain Caillou. Just be careful. If you turn it too fast, it'll tip over. Can we race with the other boats, Grandpa? Let's get lined up for the start. Hi, Caillou. Emma was a friend of Caillou's from play school. Hi, Emma. Are you going to race too? Yes, my boat is the red one. And that boy over there has the blue boat. I bet we win, Grandpa. Maybe we will. But remember that the most important thing is to have fun. The finish line is the other side of the pond. On your mark, get set, go. Caillou really wanted to win, so he made his boat go a little faster. Be careful, Caillou. Not too fast. We're winning! Faster! Faster! Oh, no! Caillou's boat ran into Emma's, and both boats tipped over. Oh! That's too bad, Caillou. Better luck next time. Caillou felt bad because he had lost, and he made Emma lose too. Sorry, Emma. Oh, that's all right. I come here with my daddy every weekend, and my boat always tips over. It tips over every week? Yeah, it's hard to keep it going straight, but it's still lots of fun. Yes, it is fun. Let's go over and congratulate the winner. Well done on winning the race. You sailed so well. Thanks, you did well too. Thanks, see you next time. Are you disappointed that you didn't win the race? a little, but I liked being Captain Caillou, even if I didn't win. Caillou and Rosie are playing with Rosie's new toy. They are having lots of fun. Lots of noisy fun. Every time Rosie pushes a key, the toy makes an animal sound. Children, 
You're making too much noise. <laughs> Caillou and Rosie stop what they are doing. Caillou, I need to lie down. Can you be a good big brother and watch Rosie so she doesn't get into any mischief? Yes, Mommy. Mommy brings a couple of markers and two big pieces of paper. You and Rosie can draw pictures of the animals instead of listening to the sounds they make. I need you to play quietly so I can rest. Okay. Caillou wants to help Mommy. He wants to be a good big brother. Caillou hands Rosie a marker. We are going to draw now. Caillou starts drawing a giraffe. He works so hard on his picture that he doesn't notice that Rosie is not drawing beside him. Caillou looks around to see where Rosie went. Oh no! Rosie is drawing on the wall! Rosie, no! Caillou grabs the marker away from Rosie. Rosie tries to get the marker back, but Caillou holds on to it. Rosie starts to cry. Be quiet! Do you want Mommy to get mad? Mommy hears all the noise. Caillou, I asked you to be a good big brother and watch Rosie, not fight with her. Rosie needs her nap. I'll be right back. Caillou is surprised. Why is Mommy angry with him? He did his best to be quiet and to keep Rosie from doing anything wrong. He doesn't want to be Rosie's big brother anymore. When Mommy comes back, Caillou is crying. Caillou and Mommy go to the kitchen and fill a bucket with soap and water. It isn't easy being a big brother, is it? Can I help? That would be great, Caillou. Caillou cleans the wall with a wet cloth. He rubs hard until all the marks are gone. Good job, Caillou. Thank you. Rosie has finished her nap and she wants Caillou to play with her. Okay, Rosie. becoming such a big boy and you are such a good brother to Rosie. Catch the car, Teddy! Caillou has made up a new game. He's rolling his toy cars down a ramp made out of a long board. <laughs> Rosie walks into the room pulling her toy ducky on a string. Can I play? Okay. He turns to his little sister and sees that she is wearing a t-shirt with teddy bears on it. No! That's my t-shirt! Take it off! It's mine! <laughs> Caillou is very upset. <laughs> Mommy comes when she hears the shouting. She tries to explain why Rosie is wearing Caillou's favorite t-shirt. Caillou, that t-shirt is too small for you, so I gave it to Rosie. Caillou is so angry, he is not listening to Mommy. It's not Rosie's, it's mine! Okay, okay. 
Rosie, let's go put on a different t-shirt. Caillou puts on his teddy bear t-shirt, but it's not easy. He has to wriggle and squirm like a caterpillar. Uh, ow! <laughs> <laughs> See, it's not too small. Caillou marches around the room with his bare tummy showing. Rosie thinks <laughs> Caillou looks very funny. Maybe he's playing a new game. She runs up to her brother and tickles his tummy. <laughs> Stop that! Caillou knows that the t-shirt used to cover his tummy when he wore it. Caillou stretches out to play with his cars, but his back gets cold and the carpet makes him feel itchy. Caillou goes to his room. He doesn't want to play with the cars anymore. He is too sad to do anything but sit with Teddy. Why did the t-shirt have to get too small? Mommy comes in and sits down beside Caillou. She has a photo album that she opens. Here's a picture of you on your birthday. You look so cute and happy in your teddy bear t-shirt. Caillou looks at the picture and nods. That's when I was little. I had my teddy shirt. Mommy understands why Caillou feels sad. Caillou, I'm sorry I gave your t-shirt to Rosie. I forgot how much you loved it, but now it's yours again. Even if you don't wear it, you can keep it as long as you want. Caillou still loves the t-shirt. It's so soft and cozy, but he knows he has grown too big to wear it. Caillou looks down at Teddy. Suddenly, he knows what to do. I'm going to give it to Teddy. Good idea, Caillou. <laughs> Caillou and Mommy both smile as Caillou takes off his favorite t-shirt and puts it on his teddy bear. Rosie comes into Caillou's room to find Mommy. Look who's wearing the t-shirt. <laughs> Teddy's happy. Me too. Caillou hugs his teddy bear in his teddy bear t-shirt. Caillou and his babysitter are reading a story. But today is a very special day. Caillou, did you know it's Valentine's Day today? This is a day to celebrate love. Caillou mm. thinks about this for a moment. Celebrate love? That's right, Caillou. Caillou has an idea. Caillou decides to give a Valentine's Day present to someone he loves. I'm going to draw a pretty card with hearts. Aw, that's a nice idea. Julie gives Caillou some paper and crayons. Caillou begins to draw hearts as carefully as he can. But drawing hearts is hard, and Caillou is a bit disappointed with his picture. Oh, it's not very pretty. I can help you if you want. I like your hearts, Caillou. What do you think about adding something else to your picture? Hmm. Caillou wonders what else he could draw. Ooh! <gasps> I know! Caillou draws a big round moon. And all around the moon, he draws lots of kisses in lots of different colors. Your picture is really pretty, Caillou. Caillou is very pleased with himself. Caillou goes into his bedroom and places the drawing in his room. Who is your Valentine's present for, Caillou? <laughs> it's a secret. <laughs> 
Caillou puts on his favorite shirt. Then he gets a red tie out of Daddy's drawer. Do I look nice with a tie? <laughs> you always look nice, Caillou. Caillou is so excited about his Valentine's Day present that he can hardly sit still. When Mommy finally comes home, he rushes to meet her. Mommy is delighted to see her little boy looking so smart. Who's this handsome young man? Close your eyes, Mommy. Mommy shuts her eyes, and Caillou puts the Valentine's Day surprise into her hands. You can open your eyes now. <laughs> Is this for me? I drew a moon because I loved you as big as the moon. Oh, and I love you as big as the moon, too. Well, I love you as big as the moon and all the stars and all the planets. Caillou is sure no one could love anyone more than that. Caillou was spending a rainy day at Grandma's. He drove his mini car around the coffee table. Vroom, vroom. Beep, 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 beep. Whoops! Caillou knocked a big book off the table. It fell open on the floor. Caillou was curious about the pictures in the book. He sat down to take a look. I can see you found my photo album. Who's that, Grandma? That's your grandpa and me when we were young. Caillou looked at the photo again. <laughs> That's not you and Grandpa. Oh, this picture was taken a long time ago. Your Grandpa and I used to dance a lot. Caillou turned the page and something fell out of the album. Oh, it's our blue ribbon. The night that picture was taken, there was a big dance contest. And this is the ribbon your Grandpa and I won. Wow, first prize. Do you want me to show you how to dance? Yes, I can win first prize, too. Grandma puts on some music. This was one of our favorite songs. Caillou hadn't heard music like this before, but he liked the quick rhythm. Look, Grandma, I'm dancing. Caillou <laughs> hopped from one foot to the other. That's good, Caillou. Here, take my hands. Caillou loved dancing with Grandma. He was having a lot of fun. All you have to do is listen to the music. Grandma showed Caillou some complicated steps. Caillou tried to follow and stumbled. <laughs> Watch this, Grandma! Caillou jiggled his hips from side to side. I think you just made up a new dance. And for being such a good dancer, you win first prize. Grandma pinned the blue ribbon onto Caillou's shirt. Hi, you two. It looks like someone's been getting dance lessons. Grandma showed me how. Caillou started to dance for Grandpa.
That's great! Grandpa took Caillou by the hands and they started to dance together. Grandma watched as her two men danced around the room. Just then, the doorbell rang and Caillou ran off to answer it. It's Mommy! Look! I got first prize for dancing! He then showed everyone a little dance he had learned. Everyone gathered in the living room for a snack. Mommy, did you know that Grandma and Grandpa used to dance a lot? And they won a ribbon for first prize for dancing. Really? Yes, and Grandma and Grandpa are really good dancers. Grandma showed me their special dance. Grandpa had an idea, and he put the music on again. <clears throat> may I have this dance, miss? You may, sir. Together, they showed everyone the dance that had won them first prize all those years ago. Caillou hurries to put on his fancy clothes. Tonight, he's going out with Mommy and Daddy like a big boy. Rosie is staying home with the babysitter. The restaurant is full of people. Caillou holds his daddy's hand and looks around. It's a bit dark in here. Caillou doesn't see any children. He feels so proud to be with grown-ups. Look at the aquarium, Caillou. Caillou runs off to say hello to the multicolored fish. Whoa. Don't run, Caillou. Wait for us, please. Caillou decides to sit on his knees. Caillou, please sit down like a big boy. Just in time, a friendly waiter comes toward the table with a booster seat for Caillou to sit on. What would you like to eat, Caillou? Let me look, Mommy. Caillou wants to act like a grown-up and opens the menu, too. There are no pictures on his menu, and Caillou is very disappointed. Caillou waits patiently while Mommy orders his favorite spaghetti. It's taking so long for the food to come. Caillou gets tired of waiting and wants to get up and move around. Where are you going? Caillou doesn't want to sit anymore. Do you want to go to the bathroom? Okay. Caillou finds a new game. He's having fun drying his hands under the automatic dryer. Caillou runs back to the sink to wash his hands again. Okay, but this is the last time. The waiter comes to the table with all the plates balanced in his arms. Caillou is very impressed. Wow! Mommy and Daddy never do that! Caillou takes a bite of his food and makes a face. It doesn't taste like this at home. Caillou, at least eat some of your dinner, please. Yeah. Caillou isn't hungry anymore. He wants to play under the table. Where 
is my Caillou? Caillou jumps out from under the table. I'm here! Caillou, you're supposed to stay in your seat. I don't want to sit anymore. I want to go home. Just then, the waiter comes to the table with a wonderful dessert. Caillou completely forgets about wanting to go home. Yay! I'm hungry! <laughs> Caillou is happy to be eating at the restaurant with Mommy and Daddy. He really feels like a big boy. Today, Caillou is going to the dentist for the first time. Let's hurry, Caillou. We don't want to be late. Caillou doesn't answer. Where has he gone? Mommy finds Caillou in the bathroom. Caillou, you've already brushed your teeth this morning. Do they look nice, Mommy? <laughs> yes, Caillou. They're beautiful. Now come on, time to go. At the dentist's office, Caillou and Mommy sit in the waiting room. Caillou holds Teddy very tight. Just then, he hears a strange whirring noise. Teddy, you're coming with me to see the dentist, okay? A woman with a friendly smile walks toward Caillou. Hello, Caillou. My name is Linda. Come with me and I'll show you and your Teddy the best way to brush your teeth. Caillou and Mommy follow Linda into a small room. There's a big chair in the middle with a big funny-looking lamp hanging over it. Have a seat, Caillou. Can Teddy sit too? <laughs> of course. Caillou and Teddy sit in the dentist's chair. Linda shows Caillou how the chair can move up and down. <laughs> Linda tilts the back of the chair so that Caillou can lie down. But Caillou stays sitting straight up. Lie back, Caillou. That way, I can get a better look at your teeth. Linda shows Caillou the little mirror that's used to see the teeth in the back of his mouth. She starts the electric toothbrush that turns very fast. That's what was making that strange noise. Now I'm going to make your teeth shine like little stars. Okay. Caillou checks first to see if Mommy is still there. Yes, Mommy is right behind him. Linda brushes Caillou's teeth. Then the dentist comes into the room to give Caillou his checkup. Hi, Caillou. I'm Dr. Joseph. Wow, you have really nice teeth. Do you brush them every day? Two times this morning. <laughs> when Caillou is ready to leave, Linda gives him a new toothbrush to take home. And you can have two surprises from the box. Two? Caillou examines the items in the box. He chooses a magnifying glass and a ring. The magnifying glass is for me, and the ring is for my mommy. Goodbye, Caillou. Bye. It's been a big day for Caillou. Today, he went to the dentist for the first time. Caillou at the market. Good morning, Sleepy.
But Caillou does not want to get out of bed. Look, it's snowing. Caillou runs to look out the window. Wow! Can we make a snowman? Let's get dressed first, then we'll see. Caillou tries to pour his cereal, but nothing comes out. There's no cereal. We'll get some at the market. We have to shop for things to make a special surprise cake. A cake? Yay! Caillou puts on his coat and boots. He picked up Gilbert to see if he'd like to come to the market as well. Gilbert, where are you going? Silly cat. Outside, the snowflakes tickle his face. He sticks out his tongue and catches some of them. Can we make a snowman? Yes, Caillou, but we have to go to the market first. When they get to the market, Mommy puts Rosie in the seat of the grocery cart. I want to ride in the cart too, Mommy. Let's go. We have lots of shopping to do. Caillou and Rosie help Mommy find the things she needs. Caillou takes a bag of cookies off the shelf. These are good. We're having special surprise cake. So we don't need cookies, too. Aww. Caillou really wants the cookies, but he puts them back. At the checkout counter, Mommy helps Caillou and Rosie get out of the cart. Caillou, please help watch Rosie for me. Caillou holds Rosie's hand. But he's thinking about the cookies. Mm. He lets go of Rosie's hand to go and find the cookies. Caillou? Caillou goes up and down the aisles looking for the cookies. Suddenly he stops and looks around. He can't see Mommy. Mommy, where are you? Mommy? There she is. Mommy looks worried. What happened, Caillou? You went away. No, you went away. She gives him a big hug. I'm very glad we found you. Let's go home. Mommy, I was lost. I know, Caillou, but you're home now, and it's time to make the special surprise cake. But I want to make a snowman. We will make a snowman here in the kitchen. Mommy bakes a cake and covers it in snowy white icing. Caillou and Rosie decorate it with candy. <laughs> the special surprise cake is a special surprise snowman!